Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to Design Consulting Services. Today I want to show about epoxy uh, flooring. So first step we have to check this uh, surface uh, level okay by the help of spirit level and uh, auto level instrument. So we have make proper surface preparation after that we are checking now and we almost found the level okay and wherever we have some uh, undulations level in difference we are uh, removing that extra extra thickness okay by this uh, equipment so survey first survey has to mark first step the service has to mark like this nails okay the difference so according to that level we have to make uh, our surface preparation so with this area we no need uh, slope it should be zero zero so now after finishing the surface preparation we have to go for this uh, patch work okay need of need of floor tf 10000 this is three component now we are adding sand after that we are adding the this base sand and uh, base okay tf 10000 need of floor tf 10000 base and there is a hardener also total three component we have okay so wherever you have voids so in this voids we have to fill this this is nito fuller tf 10000 hardener okay this three component first one is sand second is base and third is hardener so as uh, how much you need quantity mix it uh, uh, partial partial okay don't try to mix uh, one time all the quantity mix it as per the required uh, feeling okay so now after proper mix it make sure this three component should be become one color okay homogeneous color so like this we have to mix properly after mixing we have to place this in the joints joints or whites small whites you can see here small small gaps we are, we are feeling now like this so yeah after removing completely this uh, white we have to fill this uh, sand okay so now we are uh, using uh, for this uh, epoxy coating we are we are uh, using neto floor fc 150 so this is the process okay after preparation this level check we after wherever the whites we have we have to fill this little floor tf 10000 okay so our goal the objective is to provide protection to the floor this is a electrical substation building okay we have switch gear gis and control room if our scope is mentioned self leveling we have to use self leveling if it is mentioned epoxy we have to use epoxy so this project uh, epoxy is uh, recommended so we are using uh, epoxy okay so after finishing this uh, three component filling then we have to go for uh, this nito motor tc2000 so this is two component hardener and base now we are mixing this before application so we have to mix properly it's become one color homogeneous and uh, always uh, i recommend to follow recommendation the material whatever you use okay so now we have put some here nito motor tc2000 so if you see uh, on your left and right we already applied the nito flow to tc2000 and now this is the remaining area we have to put some small quantity like this and apply completely 
so this what will happen this will cover all hairline cracks whatever the small uh, pin pockets every it, it fill everything okay so when you going to apply the top coat that time uh, no air voids and air bubbles will form so like this we have to make application okay so complete all the area we have to pro we have to apply this uh, nito motor tc2000 this is our second step so okay the first step is surface preparation first step is survey level check after that removing all the de dead motor and uh, prepare the level and after finishing leveling we have to fill this cracks and voids using nito floor tf 10000 okay that is number 1 and number 2 we have to up now you can see this application uh, this is nito motor tc 2000 this this is uh, for hairline cracks and uh, small patchwork okay this is epoxy resin hardener and base two component so this is advisable it will give solid uh, substrate okay so make sure before this application no dust should be present on the floor so like this we have to complete the apply and leave it for 12 hours uh, for dry okay well, before application of Nitom Prime 31 we have to leave it for dry so after finishing the Nito Floor 2000 then we have to go for Nito Prime 31 okay this is our Nito Prime 31 hardener and base so the big one is the base and the added one is the hardener so we have to add these two and mix properly once this mixed we have to immediately start application otherwise otherwise it will become hard and tight so and it is uh, difficult to apply so this is the why we use you know the to, pro, to provide protection to the floor and uh, it will have uh, you know to provide the dust free work environment and the rooms looks nice clean rooms and easy to maintain so for that reason we are using this is uh, for protection to provide a static protection storage electric electronic manufacturing and aesthetic purpose for beautifulness okay now we are to apply this nito prime 31 over the Nito motor TC 2000 okay so like this we have to apply completely by using the roller brush so here we have four steps okay application steps the first one is surface operation second one is uh, this uh, Nito floor TF 10,000 and the third one application of uh, Nito motor TC 2000 and third one is uh, Nito Prime 31 okay after that we have to go for the top so now the here uh, Nito Prime application is finished and after uh, dry we are again uh, using this air blower to remove the dust so you we have to clean again before application of top top coat okay and uh, what is our top coat Nito floor FC 150 that is our top so this is the dust we have to remove and then start the application of Nito floor FC 150 so now we have applied here FC 150 So thickness and all maintain okay thank you for watching